A tensor can be thought of as a generalization of a linear transformation. In fact, a linear transformation can be represented as a special type of tensor known as a second order tensor. The focus of this session will be on introducing tensors. T is a linear transformation or a tensor if it has the following properties. Transformation of vector A plus vector B is equal to transformation of vector A plus transformation of vector B. This property is known as additivity. In other words, the effect of the transformation on the sum of two vectors is equal to the sum of the effects of the transformation on each vector. Transformation of alpha A is equal to alpha transformation of A. This property is known as homogeneity. In other words, the effect of the transformation on a scale vector is equal to the scaling of the effect of the transformation on the vector. Note that capital letters on the bar denote tensors. Small letters on the bar denote vectors. Small Greek letters denote the scalars. T with the above properties is also called second order tensor. A linear transformation can be alternatively defined by the following property. Transformation of the sum of two scaled vectors A and B is equal to the scale transformation of A plus the scale transformation of B. This property is equivalent to the previous two properties. Two tensors T and S are equal if they transform any arbitrary vector A identically. In other words, if T A is equal to S A for any arbitrary vector A, then tensors T and S are equal. Let T be a non-zero transformation that transforms every vector into a fixed non-zero vector N. Is this transformation a tensor? Transformation of vector A is equal to vector N. Transformation of vector B is also equal to vector N. So, TA plus TB is equal to 2N. As A plus B is also a vector, transformation of the sum of A and B is also equal to vector N. Star 1 and star 2 imply that the additivity is not valid. Therefore, T is not a linear transformation or a tensor. Let T be a transformation that transforms every vector into a vector that is k times the original vector. Is T a tensor? We use the single condition of linearity. Transformation of alpha A plus beta B is equal to K open bracket alpha A plus beta B equals K alpha A plus K beta B. The scalars K, alpha and beta are interchangeable. So it is equal to alpha K A plus beta K B. K A and K B are the transformations of vector A and vector B. So, it is equal to alpha transformation of A plus beta transformation of B. Therefore, this transformation is linear and T is a tensor. Consider a transformation T that transforms every vector into its mirror image with respect to a fixed plane. Is T a tensor? Consider a parallelogram in which its two sides representing vectors A and B and its diagonal A plus B. A parallelogram remains a parallelogram after reflection. On one hand, the diagonal of the reflected parallelogram is the result of the transformation of A plus B, which is a reflection of A plus B. On the other hand, the diagonal of the reflected parallelogram is the sum of its sides, which are the reflected A and the reflected B. It is concluded that the transformation of vector A plus vector B equals the transformation of vector A plus the transformation of vector B. Consequently, the additivity of the transformation is confirmed. 
Furthermore, it is evident that the reflection of the scale vector A is equal to the scale reflection of vector A, which is an illustration of the principle of homogeneity. So, T is a linear transformation and a tensor. Just let's write down the main points. When a rigid body undergoes a rotation about some axis n, vectors drawn in the rigid body in general change their directions. That is, that the rotation transforms vectors drawn in the rigid body into other vectors. Denote this transformation by R. Is R a tensor? Imagine a parallelogram that is embedded within a rigid body, where its sides are represented by vectors A and B, and its diagonal represents the sum of the two vectors A plus B. After being rotated about the n-axis, the parallelogram maintains its shape. The diagonal of the rotated parallelogram is both rotation of A plus B and the sum of rotated A and rotated B. So, the additivity of the transformation is confirmed. Furthermore, for an arbitrary scalar alpha, the R alpha A and the alpha R A are obviously the same. Therefore, the homogeneity is also confirmed. As the additivity and homogeneity are both confirmed, R is a tensor. Let T be a tensor that transforms the specific vectors A and B as follows. Given a vector C equal to 2A plus B, find TC. Using the single linearity property of a tensor, we can write Thanks for watching. During the upcoming session, we will become familiar with the components of tensors. Please don't forget to subscribe my channel.